G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do some more 3D flowers today and I've got four. Instead of just doing the one, I'm gonna go, go for gold and do four. Now this was the last one I did. Um, I used gold and navy. And if you saw that, you saw the struggle I had with the navy. And I put the white pigment paste in the gold and I put the white pigment paste in the blue as well. And today, I'm thinking I want a really bright metallic -y color so I'm not going to use the white cast and craft I'm just going to go with um, my mica powders I'm just going to put you on autofocus I don't know if that's any better or not oh sorry it's my hand in the way mm. there we go is that better <laughs> what was it there so it's still really pretty and you can see the gold shimmering but um, I want to see if I can get more of a shimmer 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 so I'm gonna go with just metallics I'm just gonna put my gloves on uh, my resin is the platinum 360 plus this was the first time I tried it to see if it would do blooms and it does amazingly so yay seems to be a good all-rounder that one now my resin has been sitting for um, half an hour, 30 minutes. And I wanna be piping at 40, 45 minutes. So I've got 15 minutes, so I'm gonna get a wriggle on. So my gold, I'm gonna do, um, like I said, I wanna get some nice bright colors. And I'm gonna try for some gold. I've got this rich gold. I have jumped online to Lorez and ordered some of their metallic gold paste because I've, I've never used like a metallic paste. I just haven't so I thought oh, I'll try it so I've got some I've got 30 grams of resin in there and I'm gonna put that in um, do another one <laughs> I don't know how much to use this one's the art tree creations I'll give that a stir I hope I didn't put too much in so yeah, no pig, um, no um, pigment paste for the gold, only because I haven't got any. My other two colours, I've actually got pigment pastes. And I jumped online to Lorez and bought their pigment pastes. Actually, I'll do them all and then I'll put the alcohol ink. This one's called Peacock Dance. Look at that, it's a metallic. I'll give it a stir. I haven't used it yet, only just arrived the other day. Actually, or was that the other one? Oh, I don't know. I've done a few orders. I can't remember what. Uh, but I have ordered the gold and the silver and the copper as well in the metallic. I'm just going to put in, I don't know, just that much on the top of the stick of that one. I'm a bit worried about my gold now. I think I might have put too much in. But it's not like it's the white paste that's really heavy, you know. I, We'll just have to see how it goes. If it doesn't work, if it's too heavy, then I'll know not to put so much in. Because if I was using the white paste, I'd only put like two or three drops in. So there's that one. Let's move these out of the way. Get myself some room. The other one is also by Lorez. It's called Luscious Plum. This is the new one that's just arrived. Oops, it, oh my gosh. It's hard. Okay, I don't have time to go and soften it I'll just have to grab some from the sides they do that when the weather's cold and we're in winter here so all you've got to do is um, sit it in some hot water I actually boil the kettle and um, put some in the put some boiling water in a bowl and then just sit this with its lid on inside the bowl I think that's about the same amount that can go in there Now I can't decide what colour to use for my centre, so you can see my glitters over on the side here. First of all I thought gold, and I wanted to see what sort of shade that was before I put the gold in, because I've got a light gold and then a bright gold, and then I thought, hmm, maybe like a, a teal kind of a colour might look pretty for the centre. So I thought I'll wait and see what these colours look like. I have a feeling I've made them a bit too strong. 
because if they're too heavy they'll sink so a bit concerned about that but anyway we'll see so now I'm going to put um, three drops of alcohol ink in this one's purple this one's the um, let's resin resin one two three get in there three drops of purple And then this one, cerulean, three drops of that. One, two, three. Give that a stir. And I'm going to put them in my little piping bags. I've got my piping bags sitting in these little three cups over here to my left, ready to go. And I've got the pinata gold. One, two, three, four. Oops. So with, I made up a little bit of extra resin. I've got 30 grams of resin for the gold and then the other two colours I've got 20 grams. I'm just not sure if the gold's going to take over or not or whether it'll be heavier, and it'll sink. Now, what are these going to be like? I want real bling bling. So see, I've got this white sparkle. I thought I might put a little bit of that in just for some extra sparkle. Just, just to experiment, really, because I don't know what it's going to do. Like, it's not going to change the colour. It's just going to give a sparkle. So just put a bit of that in. Yeah, let's do that one as well. There we go. <laughs> That's just the Max Sparkle White. That one is from Colour Passion. But there's lots of places that um, sell Sparkle White. I don't know if it's all the same stuff or not. It's like when you go to the supermarket and you buy milk. Like it all comes from the same place, doesn't it? It all comes from cows. It's just marketed differently. So I don't know whether the same is with micas and, you know, the sparkle white. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how it's made. So I can't really judge. All right, so there's that one. Can we actually see the sparkle? A little bit. All right, um, I can always adjust it next time. Let's, um, let's put these into the piping bags. So I don't want to add too much stuff to the resin because you know you've got to stay under your 10%. Otherwise it won't set. So you can't put too much stuff in. Micas and alcohol inks and glitters. And you've got to be careful not to put too much in. All right, so that's that one. I can definitely see the sparkle though. It's looking pretty. And let's do this one. I'm thinking I might, oh, I don't know, I'm so indecisive. Sorry, I know you don't like me being so indecisive. I'm sorry. Um, now, I'll either go with the pale gold or the lighter greenish tone of two that I'm thinking. Because that gold is not a good match. Whereas that one is probably better. Um, let's do that. Okay, that's made up my mind. Made up my mind. There we go. Easy decision, hey? Put a little bit of that in and that'll be my centres. Um, let's do this one. Last one for the piping bags. I just get the piping bags from eBay. They're so easy to use. They're a little bit longer than what I need. And because I'm only using the little cups to use for them to stand up in, I actually cut the end, a couple of inches off the end of the bag because I don't need it. It just gets in the way. You can use Ziploc bags or whatever you want. I just feel that for me, these are just easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, let's open this. I haven't even opened this before. Oh my, I'm getting gold all over it. I'm going to have to wash my hands, let's get a baby wipe, there we go, wipe my hands with the baby wipe and then I can get this gold off, can't touch anything can you, Get make a mess, alright stay there, now let's see if I can get this open with my gloves on, hopefully I can and I'll get right over here so I'm not going to sprinkle glitter all over my mold ok 
Okay, let's pop some of that in. You need, I won't close it just yet. You need quite a lot because you need to make a paste, a thick paste. Well, that's a thick paste. <laughs> I probably didn't need that much. Okay, so make a thick paste. Uh, if it's too thin, it kind of spreads too much. I right, don't need any more of that. That's the, um, that's one of the Larissi ones. I think that must have come in that little holographic teal green. It must have come in my little pack that had all the different colours in it, I think. All right, in the centre you go. You can see how pretty thick it is. I hope I haven't left it too long. What's the time? I've got five minutes left to my piping. Oh my gosh, spilled. Um, the amount of time that you need to wait will depend on your resin brand. Because they're all different. Um, I prefer to use a thicker resin when I'm doing the 3D flowers. The really thin ones will work I think but you have to wait a long time for them to thicken up. So I just find that the thicker resins, thicker to begin with, tend to work a bit better. Okay, try not to spend too much time on this. Sort of try and get it into a bit of a, a circle-ish. There we go, that'll do. Got a little bit left. Um, okay, now let's do this. Push that down. Look at the sparkle in there. I'm glad I did that, put the sparkle in it. So because I've started with the teal in the center I'm happy to go with gold next I think I'll go gold purple teal because I've already got teal in the center and um, I'm just going to do layers of petals until I run out so you can feel that it's it's warm it's not hot but it's warm okay now the amount that I cut off I'm just going to do one at a time it's still a bit in there I'm going to do one at a time because my scissors gone. I tend to cut off now can you see, I don't know if you can see can you see that the tip is clear between the point and where the resin ends I'm going to snip halfway between that tuck that in be, into your hand there and snip halfway between the two And now I just need to check that. Another piece of paper towel. Can't pick things up when you've got sticky gloves on. I'm just going to put that there and that'll be my little test piece. All right, see how we go. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to go with the gold first. So when you hold it up upside down like that, you don't want it to like drip out constantly. You just want to have a few little drips like that. See, you don't want it to just flow out. Otherwise, it's too thin. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Oops. Didn't go start very even. Excuse me if I don't talk while I'm going to do this. I'm going to concentrate. Try and get them all as similar as I can. Oops, how many was that? I was doing seven on all of them. How many have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you've got eight. Gosh. Oh, well. Okay, so same again. Snip halfway between the end and where the resin is. Gives you a, well, a lot of people say make the tiniest little hole that you can. I, I personally don't like to do that. I like to have it a little bit bigger 
I find if the resin is like too thin, like the little lines too thin, it, it doesn't really work properly. Like it only, the resin only moves a little bit. You know how the resin pulls from the outside in? And that's what you want it to do. That's what it's going to do here. Um, and if it's too thin, the resin doesn't have very far to like move. So you don't get as much effect. Whereas if you've got a thicker line, when the resin moves, it gives you a better um, outcome. Do, do you understand what I mean? Like, am I making myself, am I making sense? hope so. Okay, now this is where I, I don't know whether I should just go with the teal or whether I go with the gold again and have gold, then teal, then gold, then teal. I think I'm going to go with the gold. That was my initial idea. Put gold between each layer. That one's not very thick. I'm just going to put some more on that one. So I'm just squeezing with my thumb as I go. Okay. Now we've got the teal. Peacock. So as you get out further, you've got more space to use and your petals get bigger. Wish I hadn't have done eight on this one. <laughs> they're never not going to be the same. I'm really keen to see whether or not. And I'm, going to, I'm not going to put any more gold. I'm going to go straight to the purple again. I'm keen to see whether or not it'll work without the white pigment paste that I usually use. I guess time will tell. I want to end in gold, so I need to leave a little bit of room for the gold. And because the resin does pull in from the outside, you need to go as close to the edge as you can because it will move, and then you'll end up with a lot of blank space if you've haven't left if you've left like too much room there. Okay, that's that done. It's that done. Oh, look! Now they've only got one. Now you've only got one of teal. Where am I going to put teal? I'm going to have to put some more teal in somewhere. It's only got one row of teal. I didn't plan that very well, did I? Okay, let's go with the gold. Oh, I missed one. I missed one! I might even put some more teal in here as well. If I've got enough, like it just in here. Between the purple and the the gold. Doesn't matter if they overlap. We're all gonna move and blend together anyway. And I've got a little bit left, so might as well use it. Okay, so that's pretty much empty. Now I'll just go with the gold. I should have just stuck and gone with like um, one of each colour. <gasps> Whoops, are you thickening up? You might be thickening up. I'll make a bigger hole. Well, it shouldn't be. Here we go. Shouldn't be thickening up, but it might be. It's probably because this one's got more mica powder in it. It feels as if it's thicker than the others. 
I probably didn't need to do two of those scoops. One would have sufficed. It's raining again, yet again. at all. Uh, let me wipe my hands because I'm all sticky. Spray some alcohol on them. Clean my scissors off. Clean up as you go guys. Makes things a lot easier. Now the other thing I wanted to do and I'm going to use my little stick with the little cotton bud thing on the end. Whatever it's called. Somebody did send me a message saying this is what it's called but I can't remember now what they said. I'm going to throw this out. Um, so basically all I want to do is, because I might get blobs where these have joined, so I'm just going to bring that in. And do it gently. Don't dislodge your glitter. Lift up before you get to your glitter. I just want to drag through those blobs because where you've... Did I do that one already? Where you've joined, like you go like that, and then you go like that, and then over there where you've sort of joined, um, they tend to be heavier with the, the color. It's a blob, and that tends to fall through to the back and leave like a blob. So we'll just see if this will help get rid of them. And I'm not going to pull the stick through again like I did with the last one to get points. I've done that. Done it and got the shirt to prove it. See there's a blob there. So I'm just going to do this instead with this one. Something a little bit different. Loving these colours. They look very jewel-like, don't they? Very bejeweled. Bejeweled. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, there we go. Now, a little bit of heat, and then I'm done skis. Just with my heat gun. Put it on high, pop some bubbles. It's going to go around on all of them first. And a bit of a push from the edges. go around once just pushing from the edges in if you do it too much you heat up your resin and then your color will fall straight through because it'll be too soft or too thin so just be careful just try and get them all kind of looking the same okay edge on that heat gun under on anything under my table <gasps> it's so pretty I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like now quick little torch for bubbles I personally can't get rid of bubbles with just a heat gun it doesn't work for me it blows the resin around and everything but it doesn't actually pop bubbles well not really not for me anyway real quick with my torch <gasps> okay okay let me get my gloves off actually these can just go straight in the bin because they're really grotty okay let's get you down <gasps> so excited about this one I hope it works I hope it works I'm a little bit concerned about that top gold that I did that last layer of gold Mind you, it was the last one, so it might just take a little bit longer to move. The rest of it all seems as if it's closing up. Yay! I don't see any gaps. It's just this last one. Don't know if it will close up or not. Um, that, that one was the last flower, though, because I did that one, then that one, then that one, and then that one. So this one's that one was done last. This one was done first and it is starting to close up. 
it's a bit of a gap there still. So I don't know whether I've kind of left it a little bit long um, and it's got thick or I've put too much mica in it and it's got thick. Or well, maybe it will still close up. But gee, don't they look pretty? I wonder if it's going to sink and look blobby on the outs on the on the other side. Oh, I'm just not going to know, eh? are we? Until tomorrow, I just have to wait patiently until tomorrow. But they look really pretty, just as they are. I mean, even if it doesn't work, we can use this side, can't we? Yeah. If it doesn't work, we can just put some more glitter in the middle there and make it look pretty on this side and do a top coat and call it a day. All right. Just have to be patient and see what they look like tomorrow. But oh my gosh, I am loving those colours. See, would you have done gold, teal, gold, purple, gold, teal, gold, purple? Mm. I don't know whether it would be too much gold. Like I like the teal and the purple together. And I know it looks blue through the screen, but it's not. It's teal. All right, I'll leave it at that. Um, I'm going to come back and check on them in a little while and see what they're doing. But I will see you for the unmolding. So wish me luck. Hope it works. See you soon. I'm back. Um, I haven't waited, but um, I don't think the gold's going to work, you guys, because look at the edges. See, see how it's got that dark edge? Um, and I think that's going to have fallen through to the back. You can see it's just... Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. I probably did too many scoops of the gold. Whereas the purple and the teal don't have that. They look, well, it's hard to see, but they don't look as if they've got that. I think they'll work, but I don't think the gold will work. And you can see the gold there underneath. It's, I think it's going to leave that line there. Never mind. We'll unmold them anyway and see what's going to happen. But you can see that it's dropped through. It hasn't floated. It's just dropped. So anyway, disappointing, but I'm sure they'll still be pretty. I did put a little bit more glitter in the middle of each one. Um, just so that I can still use this side because they're still beautiful. So anyway, we will see you tomorrow for the unmolding. And I will do these again with less mica. <laughs> hey guys, it's the next day. I'm back. Now, they haven't worked in the way I wanted them to work, this gold. Um, you can see it's dropped down and made that ring there. It hasn't actually spread. And I think it's because I used this gold. Now, see it says on the side there, epoxy metals. You know when you get a gold and you mix it into the resin and straight away it looks as if it's like that liquid gold on top rather than just being like a regular mica powder that dissolves the same um, right through the whole um, cup of resin. So because it's a metal, it's obviously got much heavier pieces in it. And that's my think, my my thoughts anyway. But let me know what you think. But that's that's what I think has happened with these. So even though, oh look, I've got some transparency. Even though it hasn't worked in the way that I wanted it to work, in the way that, you know, the, the gold hasn't bloomed, I'm still really, really happy with the front. Like I would use the front. But let's have a look at the back anyway, because I'm keen to see if that um, purple and the teal has worked. And I know it looks blue through the screen, but it's not. I'll see if I can adjust the, the color on when I take the photo. All right, here we go. Let's have a look at the back. Oh yeah, look at all the gold. You can see that it's heavy, heavier, because it's dropped through to the back. Actually, that purple and the the teal hasn't done too bad, has it? It's kind of stayed where it's supposed to stay. Really shimmery. But yeah, um, I think that's the reason it hasn't spread. So I'm going to go again, and I hope you guys don't mind me putting up two videos of the same colours. But I thought, you know, I'm not one of these people that just put up things that work and go, oh, look what I've done, you know, I 
it worked. Um, I'm happy to show you things that maybe didn't work as well as planned so that we can see what went wrong. So as I said, I think it's that gold that's just, it's the liquid metal gold. And um, they're just too heavy. But I like the rest of it and I would certainly use the top as a coaster. I'm going to put um, gold edge around those. Because they're so pretty. It's tried to work. <laughs> you can see how, how a little bit of it's sort of pulled from the outside in. I don't know, maybe people like that effect. I don't particularly, but I do like the front. I really do like the front. Um, and I put a little bit more of that um, glitter just in the center after I turned the video off because I thought, oh, I'm probably just going to use the front. So I just popped a little bit more on the top there. But let's see what they look like with a little bit of gold. Actually, I like this one. This one's had the extra, didn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's the one that had the eight petals. I actually prefer it. <laughs> let's move you over there. All right, let's see if I can just paint this edge real quick. Got my favorite pen, my Deco Color Premium in the gold. Just catch that tip there around the edge. And hopefully that'll just finish it off. I do like putting gold edges on my coasters. You don't have to, but... I just think it finishes it off. But if you like having that clear edge, by all means, leave it on yours. And I want to see what it looks like. So I'm going to go again today. <laughs> you won't see the video today though, but I'm going to go again today. And I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use the same purple and teal pigments, but I'm going to change my gold just to a, a regular mica powder instead of a a metal powder i really love that top love it all right i'm going to do the rest to the i'm going to do the same to the rest of them and uh, i'll see you for the next video so hopefully you guys have learnt something from that video i sure did learnt the hard way as usual <laughs> i always learn the hard way <laughs> do things and it didn't work but yep that's how you learn all right thanks for watching you guys i'll see you real soon for the next video Bye for now.